Hello Capricorn, this is you versus them for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming as always. <clears throat> Capricorn, Capricorn's issues with this connection. What were Capricorn's issues with this connection? Oh wow, the Four of Wands. So many signs have gotten this card today. Um, there was just a lack of security, I feel, a lack of happiness, um, a lack of um, camaraderie, you know, feeling like, you know, people are not as they should be when they're in a relationship, okay? The security of the relationship, the stability of the relationship was in question for you guys here. Hang on, guys. Let me get my other deck. <clears throat> Let's see. I had to boot my cars off the table because I had a little adult beverage a little while ago and actually spilled it. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see. The other person's issues. What are the other person's issues? Other person's issues. The Page of Wands. Hmm. Either they were a little sneaky, or they felt like you guys were um, were being a little sneaky, trying to start something outside of the relationship. Maybe flirting, doing something that they feel that um, you shouldn't be doing when you are in a relationship. Okay. Oh wow. And then the tower flipped out. Huge blow up here huge blow up. I'm feeling a lot of trust issues between you and this individual. Things I feel like ended, erupted um, quite suddenly. There was a blow up in this situation. Scorpio energy there. Hmm. Maybe this person was, was doing some things that you guys felt like you know, they were being underhanded, trying to date other people, talk to other people on the side, and, and things just kind of got out of control here in this situation. I feel there was a sudden breakup. What's keeping this person from Capricorn? The Nine of Cups. I feel like this person's all about themselves okay I do feel like they like to enjoy themselves they like to go out and have a good time um, they may frequent bars clubs um, I, don't, I feel like they probably lack the maturity to sustain a relationship okay I feel like some selfish energy um, is going on here what's currently going on for Capricorn What's currently going on for Capricorn? What's currently going on for Capricorn? Justice. I feel like a lot of you guys are seeking retribution here. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like you guys, you know, not really want revenge, but you want to see this person you know, feel bad about what they've done or get what they gave you or how they made you feel. But, you know, justice is not ours to seek. But, you know, what goes around comes around. So just keep that in mind. But it's not our justice to deliver. But I definitely, you know, feel that you guys, um, you know, you want to do what's right in this situation and, and you want to seek justice for the things that you have gone through is what I'm getting here. Let's see. What's currently going on for the other person? What's currently going on for the other person? 
King of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this person's just working. I feel like um, there's something that has changed about them. I feel like they are a little more mature. I'm getting that they're very flirtatious though. But they're all about their money. And they're thinking about what happened between you guys, I feel. They're thinking about their behavior. But I feel them um, working a lot, okay? All about their finances currently. Hmm. They may even be thinking about you guys in this situation. Some of them I feel like, I don't feel committed at all though. I feel that honestly, you know, as far as you guys are concerned, you know, it depends on what you guys feel like is cheating. But I get that this person may not have actually done the physical act of um, you know like sexual intimacy but I do get that they are a very strong flirt and they probably use their their um, their financial status or their financial situation excuse me to secure um, whatever like conversation um, flirtatious actions it's like you know they use what they have in order to draw in attention from people, okay? But I don't actually get that this person actually, you know, goes out and just has a fear after fear after fear. Um, I get that they are, they consider themselves to be a committed person, a committed person, a committed person. And they feel like whatever they do, as far as talking to people, communicating with them, is is innocent. Okay, that they're not really doing anything anything wrong, or they haven't really done anything wrong. Okay, <clears throat> what's influencing Capricorn? What's influencing Capricorn? Point of wands. What did I do with my glasses? Hmm. You guys are woke. <laughs> I think you're trying to. Um, there's a certain type I feel that you guys think that this person goes for. And I feel you guys like transforming into the person who you feel like this kind the kind of person this person actually goes for very um, sassy spicy attractive um, likes to travel likes to be on not necessarily a party scene but likes to be social young at heart playful in spirit um, yeah. I see you guys also being angry, though. I see you being angry. I see you definitely wanting, um, you're wanting to rectify whatever happened here. Whatever wrong you feel like was committed against you, you want to see that shit righted. Okay. What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person here? What's influencing the other person? The Four of Cups. This person's stubborn. They're stubborn, for sure. Um, and they're used to people coming to them. And I feel that they are expecting you guys to come to them. They would really love to have you guys say, hey, um, reach out and say, hey, 
I want to reconnect, let's talk, let's have a drink. Um, I feel like they are not happy that you have not done that. Okay. They, I'm getting this person is a tiny bit full of themselves here. They kind of feel like they're big shit, big stuff, in a sense. They're confident. I see that confidence fading, though. I definitely see that confidence fading. What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in for Capricorn? Hmm. The strength. I see you taking your hands off of this situation and just doing you. I see you doing what's right. I see you doing what's fair. I see you doing what is good for you. And I see you taking more of your focus off of this person and putting it onto yourself, working on yourself here. I see your confidence increasing. I see you becoming stronger and more stable and happy within yourself, for sure. What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? I'm also feeling um, like somebody wants to apologize. Somebody's wanting to apologize to you guys here too. What's coming in for them? Temperance, yes, wanting to work things out. Wanting to work things out. Get back together, bridge the gap. Definitely seeing an apology coming in. Because for a while this person has been ignoring um, the fact that they were off balance, the fact that, you know, there could possibly be something wrong in what they have been doing. I see that changing. What's the advice for Capricorn? What's the advice for Capricorn? The moon. I think it, this is for you to acknowledge your feelings. There's a lot that you hold in. There's a lot that you don't say about how you're feeling. Um, because I think you have your moments. I think you have your moments. Um, the advice would be to, you know, basically acknowledge your feelings. Because once you acknowledge your feelings, you can... Um, you know, start to navigate your way through those feelings and start seeing things very clearly. Okay. Open up. Talk to someone if you need to. You know, I know you're strong. I see it. But, you know, sometimes it helps to talk to somebody that you trust. The advice for them is a page of pentacles. I'm feeling like they need to apologize um, to stop hiding. Okay, because I see that they can be the King of Pentacles coming here with these pages. They have the Page of Wands, now the Page of Pentacles. I feel when it comes to you, there is a certain level of intimidation. Okay, it's something that they have been hiding from for a while, um, trying not to deal with. Yeah, they need to come clean, have a conversation. Say they're sorry if, if that's what's needed. Okay. Take accountability for whatever they need to take accountability for. What's the outcome for Capricorn? What's the outcome for Capricorn? The magician. Your fate is in your hands. Whatever you guys want to do as far as this situation or anything else is completely up to you with this magician energy. This is you guys being able to use all the tools, all the skills in your skill set to manifest some shit. 
whatever it is that you want. First, you have to see things clearly and acknowledge your feelings, what it is that you really want. Then you can take advantage of this magician energy of being able to, you know, manifest your wants and needs and desires. Okay. What is the outcome for the other person? What is the outcome for the other person? The Seven of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this person is very... They really do not like to admit any wrongdoing. Um this person does not like to make apologies and I feel them still avoiding still avoiding making an apology they're trying so very hard to get away from it because uh, I think they like to feel like they're winning in a situation and right now they're, they feel like they're winning okay I do see eventually them coming in, somebody coming in, and trying to make things right. But for the 1st through the 15th, I see this person still trying to hold on to the control that they feel like they have in this situation. Still trying to hold on to the control that they have in this situation. Hmm. Alright guys, so we have Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, maybe another Capricorn like yourself. Excuse me. I feel um, Scorpio, maybe here, Libra as well okay so that's what i have for you guys and i'll be speaking with you soon